Hello there. A few years back, we had a water leak in our kitchen. A reverse osmosis system underneath the sink popped open and water all over the floor, two inches of water all over the floor. Pretty good damage to our house. So we were determined not to let that happen again. So while we're still living in that particular house, we had this water cop system installed. In California, it was pretty easy. Just had to sweat solder it in here. In Texas, it's a little bit different. The plumbing's a little different. So I hired a plumber to come put this in. It consists of two components. There's the valve itself that actually turns the water off coming into the house. This is the actuator that operates it. So he came in and installed it in this water loop in my garage. And this is the place where in most homes, um, you will see a water softener sitting. You notice I don't have a water softener. I have something called a clear wave water conditioner, and I'll do that in another separate video. But for now, we're talking about the water cop shutoff valve. So the way this works is um, I can actually turn the water off to my house right here. You can hear the actuator turning the water off, and I can turn it back on here as well. One of the nice features of this is that there are sensors. There are what are called flood sensors all over my house. I have seven of them in different places. This particular one just happens to be located in the garage because the flood sensor itself is down here in the pan for my hot water heater. So if my hot water heater explodes, it'll shut the water off to the house. Once that sensor gets wet, it'll shut the water heater off to the house. So we're going to go inside now and I'll show you the inside components. As I was saying, there are sensors all over my house. This particular one you're looking at here is located under the toilet in my bathroom, my hallway bathroom. One identical one underneath the toilet in my master bath. And also sensors under the sinks and behind the refrigerator as well. So now we're going to move over to the kitchen. So along with the sensors that are located in several parts of the house is this switch I had installed in the wall. I actually installed this myself. What this does is it allows me to do the same thing that the switch in the garage does. I can reach down here, touch this with my finger, and turn the water off to the house. So if I walk over to the sink, the only water coming out right now is the water that's left in the pipe. And slow down, drip, drip, drip and the water is turned off to the house. We do this anytime we leave the house. A flood in the house is no fun, and this is a good, safe way to do it. But just so you'll know, I do not work for Water Comp. I am not a vendor for them. I'm not employed by them. I don't sell for them. So it's a good product, and uh, I found that it was very useful and helpful for me. Anyway, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Thanks. Bye.